everyone is Char from Char's Fascination and here on the machine and in this time of whatever the freak not everybody wants to get out now I'm gonna point this out not everybody wants to get out so um and then you run low on things and you may need stuff okay let me make sure that I have enough of my bobbin for this. Oh, for one part, yes. And then I'll have to re-spin. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a little tip for making your own underpants. A little tip and trick for making your own underpants. out of a very stretchy, stretchy material. Um, this is a piece of material that I did not have much of, and I was like, you know what, that would be the ideal piece, plus it's very breathy, very breathy dull. So like with the pair that I have on to make it so that you knew where the back was, that's why I'm going to do a seam, and that would be the back, the back um, of the undie. And then I will show you the rest of that. So um, I've been keeping my glasses handy because, you know, hey, thread sometimes needs a little help. And this is something that, you know, you can just hold your fabric together if you're someone that's been sewing for a while. You can just hold the end of your fabric together like so the edges of your fabric both sides um this would be the inside what you're seeing right now is the inside <laughs> Now, what's been happening with my machine lately is it'll come unthreaded here, and then I just rethread it. Hold on. And voila, like that, it is rethreaded. Anyway. <laughs> so let's say you're working with a stretchy fabric that you think may not flow too well with your machine. Um, just test the um, tension up here and see what will happen with that. So let's see, sometimes it's just the tension. And then that feeds through a little better. So I have this on five. What stitch am I using, you might ask? Well, my favorite stitch lately has been the overlocker stitch, a.k.a. I have a lot of people from other countries that watch the, the video footage. Um, so I'll use both terminologies, overlocker and serger is the same thing. And if the thread here gets a little taut like that, just pull it. And then we'll check on that bobbin, because I know that bobbin was just about out. Still has some in it. Hey, who knows? Okay. So let me finish getting this seam done and we'll be back now just lucky enough there was just enough bobbin on there to make this part now is it even even no and that's why i wanted to stitch that up the back to see what was and was not even on this that way i can straighten that out before going on to making the undergarment part you know for the leg um, I currently have on a pair that I've already made, but um, I already know 
how it should be. So I'm going to spin another bobbin, mark this, and um, oh, basically show you that when we get back because I have a piece of fabric here. <laughs> it's in there. Um, look, what do I do after a project? I tend to tidy up. Oh, look at that. It's all tidy. I tend to tidy up after a project. But that's just me. That's who I am. I tidy up after projects. So, hold on. We'll be back with that. Okay. And now what I have is this piece of the material. Which you might be thinking, well, that's an odd shape. Actually, this was the shape I used for um sizing for the uh the back and the front so a lot of us like this even i like it even so take whatever chalk you have taylor's chalk um and just weight it down with the scissors because i don't have fabric weights never have uh Mark this. Mark it out. Remember that's going to be the back. Now this is going to be the back of the leg. And this is going to be the upper half. So not too worried really about the leg portion. You might be like, well, why not? I'm just not really worried about it. Don't worry about it. And since this is a whole different fabric than what I actually used, um, take your scraps and literally use them for the gusset of your underpants. Absolutely. This would be like a perfect ideal piece for like an extra liner if you wanted. And currently that's the ones I'm wearing. So... <laughs> You don't get to have a little sewing show on that. Um, yeah. And then when I do a wear test with these, I will um, see how good they are with stretch and everything. But that's eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now I have a choice. My brand new fabric scissors or the rotary cutter which I have <clears throat> blade goes forward and it retracts forward retract that's right keep your tools handy don't be a fool make sure you always got a tool that's right <laughs> so I'm going to cut this and then I will be back with that because I still haven't spun that. So let me get these two things done and then we will put it on the machine. Okay, so, um, I thought I paused. I guess I did not. Oh, well, put this down. I'll show you that. <laughs> Except for when this thread wants to disappear. So, <laughs> it's like that sometimes. It's a disappearing thread. Okay, now that I have that thread going in the right direction, right? <laughs> Finally, uh, I'm going to sew the gusset and then we'll be right back with sewing the waist. Quick note this part right here, the seam, the hem right here, I do leave folded open before I hem it down. 
So we have ants in here for some reason. They're coming from the garage from something. Yeah. And have an ant trap down. Who knows? Anyway, ain't going there. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're back, I should have actually said leg band, not waistband, but we do the leg banding individually, but we roll that back before we do it. And now like this leg banding here, I'm not too sure if that's going to be open wide enough, then it would be on the other side. So now there's different techniques that we could use to actually uh, open that up a little more. It's just like cut a little more on the curve, which I would do for my legs because I have pretty thick legs. So I'm going to do that, hem these back, and then we go to the waistband. And then when we go to the waistband, I'll show you that. Okay, well now that I have the leg holes sewn, and this is still the back, um, <laughs> we can go on to the waistbanding. Now, as you could probably tell, I did cut this down. I sized this to me and then cut a good portion of the top off, which means there's a good amount to make another pair or use it for part of a shirt or something. Always do something extra with your extra fabric. So, like I said, you know, we're going to put this back on the machine. And then what I do is I basically will leave the, this part press, you know, open. And roll this back. Lay it on there. You know, of course. Um, and sometimes you can just double roll this, but I'll show you guys as soon as I get back with the finished product. And now that I'm almost all the way around, I'll just quickly sew this, turn them right way out, and then show you that. Yeah, right? Just try to make sure that it goes even as possible all the way around and then hit that reverse and once you hit that reverse a lot of people don't like doing what I'm doing but a lot of people won't just you know clip it a lot of people actually like leave a little extra and then tie that extra that's fine for you and everything I don't mind that but if I'm doing something like this, I'm not really too worried about it. Nobody's going to see what I'm wearing. I'm single, but I mean, I don't mingle. Um, so anyway, this is the inside. This is the outside. Obvious where the back is now. Um, yeah, these should be comfortable. So... I will give these a wear test, just like I have the other ones. The other ones I'm going to tell you super comfy. Super comfy. Try making your own. Uh, we do not all have the same cookie cutter shape as what we buy in the store. And you can also take a design like this. Let's make sure that you get those end threads from the beginning. Um, Take something like this, and you can make your own, if you're into that tankini thing, I suppose, um, you could do that. But, you know, hey, underwear. And it's your own comfort, because you already know that's going to fit you. And um, I already know these are going to fit. I'm just not going to show you. So anyway, <laughs> that's right. Um, so I just want everybody out there to keep in mind that all the normal goes back to normalage here soon. Um, so do keep that in mind because all the normal goes back to normal here soon. Um, 
And uh, while you've been doing whatever you wanted to do, I've been sewing, I've been showing, I've been keeping myself happy, and that's what I want you to do. Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. So I will see you guys later. Because like I said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because there's more to life than sitting around moping. <laughs>